Another really cool feature in Hoppy Copy is our spam check tool. And spam checking is super important to ensure deliverability of your emails to your customers. A lot of people think that it doesn't matter what you write, your email is going to land in the inbox and that it has to do with just like a lot of design elements in the email, but actually the words you use and the way it's written can impact whether it lands in, in the junk folder or, or not. And that's why we have, have integrated the spam check feature here. Uh, it just allows you to check once you've written your copy to ensure your copy is worded in a way that that is going to make it less likely for your for your email to land in that in that junk folder. So it's really easy to use. What what you do is you just highlight an email. So this is an email of ours, let's say, and I'm going to highlight it and click spam check. And then right away, you're going to get a spam score. So this is telling us a two out of six, not too bad. Only a small chance this email will look like spam. So that's pretty good. I, I usually go for a two if I can, a three is is very common that's what i find most of my emails usually end up as which sometimes it's it's not worth editing i can't get it off three but two is is quite good so i wouldn't change much here uh let's try another one so this is another email uh, and hit spam check and okay so here we've got a three and and you can see like the feedback it's giving is it's saying these words in, in purple here are shady so this is cool because i actually can identify what words are contributing to this. It's not always just the words. It, it does look at the context of the entire email. So you will notice sometimes you'll try to change, let's say certain words, and you're noticing the spam score is not improving. That will happen sometimes because it's looking at the overall email in the context too. There are a variety of factors it uses to determine if it's, if it's going to go to spam. But a, words is a good place to start. So for example, like great, I guess it's an overused word. So let's try just changing it to like awesome. Plus it's a cool way is a unique way, fun way. So I'm just going to try that just to just quickly to see what happens here and, and regenerate it and see if it changes the score. Cool. So that actually worked. So now we're at a spam score of two, a small chance this will look like spam. So that's a perfect example of like some quick changes. It could, it could give you some quick ideas on how you can make changes to your email to avoid the spam folder.